just a heads up, today's episode two of Worst Ways to Die is up now, and you can watch it over at Arcade Cloud. We are tackling the worst ways to die in Minecraft. So please, after watching this video, click the link below to go and watch it. Hi, you doing, my friends? Welcome to the Jumping Jerry Channel, where we cover all things superheroes, video games, hot books, TV shows, and all things geeky here in one place, especially board and card games. Uh, today, we are playing, show them the box, the logo game. The logo game. Logo. Uh, yeah, that's right. The last, uh, you Mar know, you guys. Logo game. It's logo. Mar -logo. It's logo. It's big. Uh, it's heavy. It's wood. I'm right I want thing. half of the food that's on here. And we're playing the logo game today because uh, you guys know Joe Beretta of the Valley folk. He's like the ambassador for this game. Uh, did you and I play it on? on no. It was just me that played it on the Valley folk. I liked it a lot. I wanted to play it here as the board <laughs> game version because they did it as a trivia version. So it was like it was only me that was cool enough to get invited to the Valley folk, right? Uh, yeah, 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 I yeah. actually did get to play Trivia Bidet mm. with the Valley Folk. Which weren't you, we're just so lucky to do that. Go watch, yeah. go watch their videos, they're very funny. Yeah. Uh, but Also, it, text me, Steve! God damn it, Steve's our brother. It's an off-camera conversation. Uh, uh, we have the logo game. I have links down for this below if you'd like to purchase it. I went to a Barnes & Noble and found this game. Uh, so, you know, go support, go support the cause. Uh, the way the game works, it's a trivia-style game. Um, but the rules are a little interesting though. I, I like that because as one person is reading, uh, the person to the left gets to answer. And if they don't know what it is, it'll go on to the next person. And if they don't know, it'll go on to the next person and the next person. And then the player reading the card goes through all four questions the same fashion before it is the next player's turn. So there's a chance that we'll be flying around this board or not. Uh, we'll see how it goes. If you get the red question right, you get to move to the nearest red qu uh, spot. If you get the blue question correct, you get to move to the nearest blue spot. Makes a lot of sense. That's how the game works. Let's jump into the logo game. I'll read if we want to just start Well, let's end. actually pick some characters okay. first. Uh, we've got a shoe. We've got a Chef Boyer decap. We've Can got... I be crazy, Mr. Potato Head? That yes. It looks like, like Mr. I, Potato Head. I actually Head don't know who it is. With, uh, when he's deranged. There's a laptop, uh, a Ford truck, I think, and a Big Mac. I'll be the... <laughs> I'll take the truck. Okay, I'll truck. Take the laptop. That's being stomped on. I'll be the lappy top. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Starting with the first question, Lasercorn. Which newspaper was responsible for breaking the Watergate story that led to President Nixon's resignation? Oh. Trivia. New York Times. Incorrect. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, the Washington Post. That is correct. Dang it! That was my second. Was, was that a well blue done, question? Joe. That is a blue question. Yeah. Lasercorn. <laughs> Moving to, along. To celebrate Women's History Month in 2017, which paper towel brand replaced its manly man mascot with a flannel-clad woman? Brawny. That is correct. Woo! That was a green question? That is a yellow. Oh, no, that is a green, yes. <clears throat> You've moved it past me. All right. Here we go with the yellow question. Which Italian sports car company in introduced scissor doors with its 1974 Countach Countach model? You gotta say it with an can, Italian accent. Can you make cover more the sense. answer and I... Can I say yeah, the yeah, word? Yeah, yeah, I'm covering the answer. It's, I mean, it's between one of two. Ferrari. Correct. Uh, Lamborghini. That is correct. Yeah! That was the other one! The other one! Right. Now you run leapfrog yellow. him. Yellow? Yellow. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm stopping you from getting any points right now. You could you get doing? your point back here, though, and head on over to that red space. If you answer this question, which insurance company features the Rock of Gibraltar and its logo as a symbol of security? I know the Rock would say Jabroni. I don't know, Allstate. Mm, incorrect. Farmers? Incorrect. I honestly don't know. I have no idea. All right. The answer was Prudential. Oh, oh yeah. all right. Yeah, no, was that the no, last no, one? No way. That is the that. last one. All right, all right, my turn to read. Laser yes. Corn is reading. Okay, known for its polo shirts, which clothing company features a crocodile as its logo? I know. Uh, Ab Abercrombie? No. no. Oh, okay. Uh, croc? Crocs. Crocs? No. <laughs> Crocs? I believe it is Lacoste. It is Lacoste. Wow. I All will right. move you yeah. to the blue space. I've never heard of that before, but I've seen Lacoste. it. Lacoste. Yeah. Which Italian supercar brand features a raging bull on its logo? Raging bull? Ferrari? <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> okay. Lamborghini. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you what was done to me? Uh, <laughs> which French fragrance and cosmetic company has been represented by Julia Roberts, Penelope Cruz, and Kate Winslet? Um, if anyone here at the table knows this. Oh, too. it is. Oh, it's French. Uh, so that would be Maybelline. 
No. Uh, no, there's the one with the five in it. I can't, I have no idea. You're not good at this game. I yet. don't know. When we get I, to the snacks and foods, you'll see. My guess yeah, no, is like uh, L'Oreal, but I don't think that's correct. All incorrect. It is Len Combe. Never heard of that. Yeah, yeah. right. Wow, yeah, yeah no. Nope. My wife is like, duh! Yeah. <laughs> Which apparel and lifestyle brand was launched by Gary Comer as a mail order yacht equipment company in 1963? What do old waspy white dudes wear? Uh, Lacoste? Nope. <laughs> I don't know why, but I wanted to say Abercrombie. Nope. I legitimately don't know yet. Land's End. Yep. Land's what? End is the answer. All right. That was the red? That was uh, one yeah, person never moved heard, to spot. Yeah. I never those, heard. those are tough ones. Those I were. didn't know any of those. Oh, Wait, what are, what are these things? Uh, Does that tell you anything about yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a theme. There's, there's prompts on the back. Oh, we should read the theme first. Yeah, I didn't know that. Well, some of them have like a, a, a questionnaire thing on the so back. So mine is sandwich. Mm -hmm. okay. Sandwich? Which sandwich restaurant with a red hot, with a red hat logo uses the slogan, we have the meats? Oh, no. Um, it's funny because you have the sugars, but they have the meats. I know. I, I... Five. Four. Yeah. Uh, three. Jimmy John's. I don't know. No. Yeah, I got nothing. I... It's Arby's, you fools! Uh, Arby's! Uh, blue point See, for you. The thing that th I was kind of thinking Arby's, but I was like, is that I'm a sandwich Arby's. restaurant? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, roast yeah. beef sandwich. Although its BMT sandwich was named after the Brooklyn Manhattan uh, transit system, what does Subway say the name stands for? Bacon, mayo, tomato. I don't know. No, but good guess. No. Also, I am stumped. So uh, I think you got bacon and tomato correct because those are what's in a BLT, yeah. right? M, uh, if I were to guess an Italian cheese, mozzarella. Ooh. More to uh, You were a little off. <sighs> BMT stands for biggest, meatiest, tastiest. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, my God. God. yeah, no, none of us were good. Wait, but mine makes way more sense. Yours makes way Subway, more sense. Change that sh <laughs> In what unexpected kind of building is the Subway restaurant on E. Ferry Street in Buffalo, New York located? A prison. No. Dang it. A subway station. No, I think that'd be expected. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know. A fire station. Uh, no, the correct answer was church. Oh, a church. The shop is run by uh, True Bethel Baptist Church. That's where Baptist you expect church. church's chick chicken to be, mm. in a church. Oh, uh, subway in a subway. Uh, no question there. <laughs> subway in a subway. <laughs> Uh, so our red question is, which uh, toasty sandwich shop chain featured uh, rat-like creatures, uh, rat-like creatures Please called go to me. Sponge Monkeys in a bizarre 2003 commercial? What was, which repeat toasty, toasty, yeah, which toasty sandwich shop God, chain featured rat-like creatures called Sponge Monkeys in a bizarre 2003. Do you remember these commercials? I have I don't. never no. seen one of this. I think I know what in sandwich ever. shop I would have guessed. I'm old. Maybe you guys know. So is that a no for you? Old, an old toasty sandwich shop. Yep. Uh, I know this yeah, one. I, I don't know. Jimmy John's. I'm going to say Jimmy John's again. That's quiz no. Yeah. Oh, I got the quiz no. Yeah. Oh, nice. We love the sound. I just guessed. Because the sub dog go to the... We love the sub. No one remembers that. Oh, no, I've no, yeah, never seen that. All right, that was a uh, that was a red one. Pop me up to the red. So, so the so theme hinky. for this one, it's all very British. So oh, yep, yeah, bring the accent. Voice. All right, PG Tips, Yorkshire Gold, and Tetley are popular British brands of what type of beverage? Beer. Incorrect. Tea. Correct. Oh, Damn. that's yeah. Wait, blue. blue. It's blue? British. I should have yeah. guessed. Yeah. <laughs> Which British confectioner is uh, responsible for the popular cream eggs? Oh, uh, is it Fabergé? It is not. Not Fabergé. What am I? Damn it! No, no, no. Uh, Fabergé eggs are like the ornate things. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, what, what's what's uh, it, Is it uh, Cadbury? Cadbury. You, yes. It, that is correct. Yeah. Woo! Yellow. Green. Green. Damn it, Wait, one. which British car company offers a range of vehicles, including the models Evoque and Velar? I have no idea. Is that your answer? Yes. I don't, I, I don't think I can even name a British car company. What does James Bond drive? Typically driving like I'm out. I, was, um, I, I have a guess after, even though I won't move. I'm gonna say, I don't know. Is, does the B in BMW stand for British? No, no, no let, let, me, let me guess. Let me guess German. Uh, let, let me uh, guess, <laughs> even though I think this is wrong, it. Aston Martin? Incorrect. Okay. No, is it Land Rover? Land really? Rover. They're British? Okay. 
What seven-floor London department store known for its green men includes a memorial to Princess Diana? My brain's just not working right now. I'm on four hours of sleep, but I know that I know this and I'm annoyed. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Do you have a guess? No, I Apartments. legitimately don't, but I'm like, I was in London and I remember hearing about it. I think we even drove by it in the bus tour we were on, so I'm annoyed. <laughs> Woolworth? Uh, incorrect. Is, uh, that, is that an actual place? Is, is it the Disney store and the little green men? No. Are the... no. Incorrect. It is okay. Herod's. Never what is it? it? Herod's. I got I uh, Herod's. Did any of us get any of those? I no, got one. Nope. He okay. got one. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Back around. Okay. Seems okay. like we have a logo on the back of this one. Yep. Here okay. we go. Look at the logo. I can't see what that is. Oh. So, name the brand. If he doesn't get it, I'll. Need Progressive. No. Oh, it's spam. No, it's not. Is it spam? Are you, is that your guess? That's my answer. That is correct. Oh, yeah, yeah Spam! Dang it. What color? Spam brand. Every time I know one of the questions. Uh, blue? Yes. What is the 43rd largest U.S. state but consumes more Spam products than any other? I would know this one. Oh. Damn it. Hawaii. That is correct. Dang it! Green? Yes. Yeah. Oh. That, one's, uh, that one goes out to our boy, Brett Nobaracawa. Let's go to the um, Asian Amigo. Brett Nobaracawa. Hi! Uh, which presidential native son of Hawaii ate Spam Musubi, a uh, sushi-style <laughs> Hawaiian favorite, while on vacation there? Someone from Hawaii was elected president? Native son. Oh, wait! Obama! That is correct. Yes! yes. Wow! That's good. Uh, Yellow? Yellow. Okay. In a Monty Python sketch, which group of hungry diners sings Spam, 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 wonderful Spam? Vikings, vegans, Venetians, or veterans? Vikings. It is Vikings. And that was red? Yes. Okay. Jeez. Short hop. Nice corn. The category is potluck. All right. Which car company had a model called the Edsel, named after the son of its founder? Mercedes. No. Okay. Fiat. No. BMW. Ford was the correct I was going to guess Ford, and then I was like, Edsel wouldn't be a Ford. A Ford Edsel? Edsel Ford. It does sound it weird. It so German. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking German. It's very Edsel. <laughs> Which athletic footwear and clothing brand is named after a type of South African antelope? Puma. I, I was just <laughs> thinking. It's, it's so funny. <laughs> it's funny. I was That's thinking. That's what hunts them. You know what's hilarious is I was thinking Puma, and then I was like, Joven's going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> what in Sam hell is a Puma? I wonder if Reebok came first, and then the, the founders of Puma were like, what hunts re Oh. Yeah, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 give it to Wes, give it to Wes. Wes this, I'm keeping this what? in. Wait, Wes, uh, Wes, what's the answer to that question? Is it a I forgot, you, I forgot you keep going. I forgot you keep going. The answer is part done. is just your reaction. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, That's uh, which one? So you got blue? Yeah. All right. Thanks, buddy. Right, yeah. <laughs> Wait, that, oh, that is blue. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. I'm ruining the game. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's so good. You're only improving the game. Bro. Oh, oh so good. good. No one so was going to get it. You just did the good. Shaq face from a Hot Ones. Yeah. <laughs> In which Leonardo DiCaprio movie does Jake Hoffman portray fashion designer and businessman Steve Madden? Am I gonna get docked if I don't? It, it's aviation or the uh, avi aviationist? Uh, no, we're no, here. Okay, okay. That's, okay. That's, that's a, that's a if you're thinking of the yeah, aviator, it is not yeah. the aviator. I honestly have no idea. Um, I guess, which I don't, it's probably not going to The Wolf of Wall Street. Correct. Oh, okay. oh yeah, you moved to yellow. Uh, the Wolf of Wall Street. Good movie. Yeah. I enjoyed it. What Chinese e-commerce company founded by Jack Ma is named after a character from Arabian Nights? Is it Soleil? Hmm? Soleil? No. no. Aladdin. Is that a no. Disney? Okay. Fine. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> uh, same thing I was thinking. Yeah. So we're both wrong. E I can't even off the top of my head right now think of an e-commerce company. So I'm just going to say Jafar. <laughs> <laughs> that is from the movie Aladdin, yeah. not Arabian Nights. <laughs> and the correct answer is Alibaba. Oh. Alibaba. That, that, that if not for Aladdin, yeah. Alibaba would have been the guest. I've never used, yeah, Aladdin was close. Um, all right, guys, we got a little, uh, a burger, little tasty a snack. Burger. Little tasty oh, a snack. Little tasty mm -hmm. snack. Little tasty snack. Wait, aren't you see? the burger? Yeah, I, lo I, love, I, I love the burger. No, aren't you the burger? Oh, I am the burger. Yeah, yeah, that should be, uh, um, and you're reading it. Okay, okay. Uh, starting with you, Wes. Okay. What fast food restaurant is this burger? Uh, that would be Burger King. That is correct. Move one blue space. Yeah, baby. What does it take to handle this burger? 
Wait, what? What does it take to handle these this burger? That's the question. What does it take to handle? I know the answer to this. Oh my so gosh. Know it. I don't know. Well, it's a whopper, but two hands. Yep. It is two hands. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you move one spot to green. Yeah. Name the eight constituents of a rock whopper sandwich. The so the bun, the burger, pickles, onions, tomatoes, uh, the secret sauce, and lettuce. I, I don't know the song. It's like lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles. Uh, I don't remember. It's something on a sesame seed bun. Go ahead. Two all beef patties. Oh, that is it. Yeah. Lettuce, cheese, onions, pickles, special sauce on a sesame seed bun. Uh, no, we had two special sauces. No special sauce. That's the wrong company. Uh, it's a beef per beef burger, sesame seed bun, tomatoes, lettuce, mayo, ketchup, pickles, and onions. Okay. What appropriate headgear can Burger King customers get for oh. free? A crown. Yeah. A crown. Yeah. yeah. Red spot. Easiest question. Mascots. Oh goodness. Is the next one mascots? I don't sports. Which candy brand has a group of mascots named Red, Yellow, Blue, Green, Orange, and Mrs. Brown? I'm assuming it's M and M's. Yep. You are correct. All right. That's uh, blue for me. It's blue. Which drink brand has a pitcher of red liquid as its mascot? Uh, Kool Aid. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Go oh, ahead yeah. to green. Oh yeah. Uh, I was gonna say uh, Big Red. Which brand has the odd mascot out? Uh, uh, Trix, Nesquik, Geico, or the Energizer? Yeah, it's Geico because it's not a bunny. Correct. Yeah. yeah, it's a gecko instead of a, instead yeah, yeah. Of a bunny. Pewee, Susie, and Lewis are the nephews of what cereal mascot who follows his nose? Oh, Toucan Sam? Yep, accurate. Yeah, Red? Got it. Blaze Corn, this card is about your favorite social media. <laughs> Oh, God. Snapchat. Name the brand. This. <laughs> I'm not gonna know any of these. No, no, what? Oh, Name what's the brand. brand. Oh, oh, Snapchat. Yeah, you got the oh. blue. <laughs> oh, I thought it was like, oh, okay. I thought it was gonna be questions about <laughs> okay. Snapchat. Oh, it will be. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is an ambiguous question. What do Snapchat messages do? They disappear? That is correct. Wait, Go to color? green. Wow. Ooh. Wow, I, I can't believe I actually know about this. <laughs> a pair of what became Snapchat's first hardware gadget in 2016? Headphones? Incorrect. Uh, a lens? A camera uh, lens? No. no. Gloves? No. Really? It is glasses or oh. smart glasses. Oh, I vaguely uh, remember. Yeah, that. I knew that because I, when I did the Axe interview, there was someone from Snapchat wearing the glasses, and he was. Nice I thought it would it. be like gloves where you can like draw on your thing, for, like in the middle of a video or something like that. I have a splinter. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> His world has ended. What appears next to the names a Snapchat user has frequent contact with? What appears? A heart. How friendly do I want to be? Not. Yes, okay. a pair of hearts. <laughs> Incorrect. Damn it. Uh, more general. A heart. A heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also incorrect. A like? Uh, oh. Incorrect. Oh. Uh, the thing that appears next to the names of Snapchat users are freaking contact contact with an emoji. Oh, that was the hearts one? and emoji. I'm taking. <laughs> <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Uh, Catch me up. No. The category is C. What is the name of the seafood brand whose logo features a golden-haired mermaid? Starbucks? No, what? <laughs> seafood brand? And you said Oh, seafood! Oh, dang it, yeah. Uh, <laughs> a golden-haired mermaid? Correct. I have no clue. I also know I'm just saying bumblebee. No. <laughs> Even though it's a bumblebee. It's a bumblebee. <laughs> chicken of the sea was the chicken answer. Chicken of the sea. Yeah. All right. I didn't know chicken of the sea was an actual, I thought that was, I thought that was a... It's a tuna. Like a, an expression. like. It is. Chicken of the sea. Oh, dude, a sports ball question. Which West Coast football team joined the NFL in 1976? What? Oh. Uh, Seattle Seahawks. Bam! Nice. Move that up to was, green. That, yeah, that was the only guess I had because I was like, Seahawks. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. What is the name of the McDonald's? Oh, C, C I get it. Okay. Okay, go for it. What is the name of the McDonald's secret menu burger containing beef, fish, and chicken? What? I have never heard of this. That's a thing. Uh, the sea cow. No. Next. Yeah. I mean, what? that's kind of funny. Uh, 
I don't know, the ultimate burger. No, the semen burger. <laughs> <laughs> Gross and incorrect. The land, sea, and air burger. Ah. Uh, I've never, I didn't I'm know McDonald's had I'm gonna go order one of those now. Yeah. What brand uses posturepedic technology in its mattresses? Huh. Sit and sleep is not the thing. No, Simmons. No, Simmons. Not Simmons. Uh, I'm not good at this guy. <laughs> mattress brand that uses posturepedic. I just bought a mattress, so I know this. I actually don't. I have no idea. Sealy, posturepedic. Sealy is correct. Move to red. Ooh, that is a red one. The okay. All right, we've got a logo on this one. It's an old person face. Mm -hmm. Old person face. Oh, uh, I think I know what that is. Not Colonel Sanders. Yeah, it's definitely Oh, not it's Colonel. Bernie Sanders, sorry. All right, starting with Wes. Who is this pop culture icon? Do you know it? Pop I culture? Think. Can I see I the do. picture? I 100% know it. Pop culture icon. How are you so bad at this? You are the king of consumption. I, Just guess Colonel Sanders, be wrong. Colonel <laughs> Sanders. You got another guess no right idea. after that. What was that one? Is, the, is that Aunt Jemima? No. Is it not? I don't know. Aunt Jemima's a woman, you this Is that is not a, a woman? No. It just looks like a woman to me. <laughs> That's not even close. That is Orville Redenbacher. Oh, yes. yeah. That's a popcorn, it. yeah. He's a popcorn. Yeah, that blue. is Orville Redenbacher. Oh, wow. What class of... Uh... <laughs> I can't believe it. Back. It looked like a woman's face. What class of Epicurean pop, popping corn does Orville Redenbacher produce? It says so on the logo. Wait, what was, what, repeat that? What class of Epicorium popping corn does Orville Redenbacher produce? It says so on the logo. Epicorium? I don't even know I that don't know, word. yeah, I don't know that word either. Um, like looking at, thinking of the box, um, all the kernels pop, I don't know. All the give, give your answer nice, nice yeah, and loud so the, the mic's All the kernels up. pop. All the kernels, no, that's incorrect. Yeah, yeah uh, Movie? Popcorn? Oh, good answer. Wrong answer, but good answer. Stovetop? Can I guess? You can guess again enough for the point, though. Is it? Is it? Is it just gourmet? It is gourmet. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I knew it. Stovetop. Yeah, uh, no. Well, I knew it after the fact. Yeah. Uh, Orville Redenbacher, tra uh, trademarked appearance was uh, his. Jesus Christ! I can't read. Why did I choose this? <laughs> it's, it's, like what the? Heck? Can you cover the answer? Oh, okay, I yeah, answer. Yeah, Orville Runnenbacher's trademark uh, uh, appearance was his horn-rimmed glasses and what old-fashioned uh, accessory? I, yeah, I honestly have no idea. I don't know. I'm gonna say pocket watch. Okay. Bow tie. It is a bow tie. Yeah! Oh, well Move done. to yellow. Well done. I know All right, my West. popping corns. We're on red here. <laughs> Give me a red one. And I what know Orville... my maple syrup, apparently. Wait, <laughs> wait, what? wait, where was I supposed to move? Yellow. What Orville Redenbacher's product is a blend of popcorn, graze nuts, butter, and brown sugar? I have no idea. Candy corn. <laughs> Not candy corn. Yeah. Cracker Jacks? I don't know. No. That's a good answer, though. Yeah. That had well, all that said, stuff. You said like. he won't know it. I was going to guess, like, trail mix. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, though his own version of trail mix was called Poppycock. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, Poppycock. Yeah, never, never would have known yeah. that. Yeah. Kind of like Cracker Jacks is like. I was like, Cracker Jacks has all those things, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, your next category is Cracker having Jackson. a ball. Mm -hmm. um, what is the brand of perforated plastic balls and bats used for backyard fun since 1953? Wiffle ball? Bat? Yes. Ah. I move blue. You huh? move to blue. Ooh, nice. oh, wow. damn. Which Subway sandwich comes covered in marinara sauce? A meatball sub sandwich? Close enough. Meatball marinara. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Correct answer. So green. Oh no! Giant jump forward. Which brand of mason jars has been around since 1984? Or 1884? Ball? <laughs> yes. What? <laughs> Accurate. Yeah, it's just ball. Is, it's it, was ball. that a guess? No, no, I remember, I like visually saw the word ball on the glass. All oh, right, wow. well this is the win if he gets this right. In which sport have Kerry Walsh Jennings and Misty Tay uh, volleyball or beach volleyball. You, yep. You, act, yeah. Wow. And that's the game. <laughs> that's the game. Wow. Okay. 
What you the wanna, hell? Yeah, and, and of course it was I don't know of, my popping corn, but I know my balls, man. Yeah, so he knows his balls. Uh, <laughs> balls. Man, this game, we know nothing. Yeah, nothing. We know nothing. This game was going really you guys slow. Way back then. Yeah, and just like in two rounds, like so he just jumped ahead half the board and won yeah. the game. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, that has been the logo game. It's a lot of fun. Uh, again, I got a link down below if you want to uh, purchase this game. Uh, big shout out and thanks to uh, Joe Beretta for being the ambassador of the game. Mm. It's fun. Have a ball. Nah. 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 Alright guys, remember we got Wes here, we've got Soinki here, we've got Laser going here, we've got D&D on Thursdays and Fridays. I have links to all their stuff and Instagram accounts down there. Go follow them, go check out what they're doing. Till next time, I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching this video today. If you need some more Jovenshire in your life, we have two videos there on the right. And don't forget to subscribe because if you like this video, I guarantee you're going to like the other stuff that we do here. And if you get a chance, go ahead and follow me on Twitter and Instagram because we create a lot of content there that doesn't always make it to YouTube. Go check it out.